Anyone who's ever been to VidCon knows that the real gem of this entire YouTube convention is the Maker Freaking Party. Man, I heard one year they had to get shut down by the police. And then another year, there was a dude running around in the party wearing nothing but a freaking VidCon convention banner as a cape around the back of his neck and holding the reins to a freaking baby goat like it was crazy. But unfortunately for me, one thing I also heard is how exclusive this party is and how hard it is to get into. On the night of VidCon, after me and a homie go out and we get some really good food, we arrive at the maker party only to see that not only is bodyguards guarding the outside so stragglers can't wiggle their way inside, but also we go to the main entrance and to me and my good friend's horror, the line is around the building, man. I'm talking about I'm recognizing people with like 100k, 500k, a couple of people with like 800k subs in this line. So if these people can't get in, man, it is a far cry to say the least of me being able to enter this freaking party. My friend being who he is, he calls one of his really good friends who just so happens to be the guy who orchestrated the entire freaking maker party. I'm talking about the guy basically at the freaking top of the freaking whole company. So he calls him, the guy tells us to go to the front of the line and he's gonna get us in. After a bunch of complications that I'll probably describe somewhere else, we finally get in, right? When we finally do get in, the entire party is started outside. That's where you walk in at, all right? There's an inside where you can hear all the music is coming from. When we left and came back, we had picked up a couple of other good friends of mine. One's name is Rudan C. He's the Asian buff dude who's breakdancing in the VidCon 214 vlog music video that I made. Hilarious guy. Also on the other side of me is the homie Ben, who's the one who was able to pull the strings and knew the upper guy to get us in this mug in the first place. Now we walk around, man, and the place is just star studded with big YouTube celebrities. Daystorm Power is there. The homie Steve is there. He's the guy who did the Omegle Miley Cyrus Wrecking Ball videos with 120 million views or something crazy like that. Like this place is just full of huge freaking YouTube celebrities. I'm talking to a couple people and I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous because I still haven't been on the inside. I still don't know what to expect and I'm not ready to see no naked dude in no freaking VidCon banner cape, okay? I'm not about that life. So after chilling outside for another 20, 30 minutes, I decide it's time to get crunk by the loudness and the type of music that the DJ was playing, which was super herb i just know people are in there going freaking bananas man there's somebody probably swinging from a chandelier half of the room is probably made a crowd around the middle of the dance floor and the gecko geico is in the middle of it break dancing and trying to sell people car insurance there's probably a dude walking around in full-on halo battle armor just doing the robot and shooting his automatic rifle up in the air every once in a while when the music gets too crunk just because he can like all of these things are running through my mind man i'm like dude i don't know what to expect so as a precautionary measure i get all my homeboys with me and we all decide to walk in together in slow motion even though everyone else is moving in real time okay i gotta make a first impression <laughs> so we're all walking in like i said the music is popping it's loud it's awesome but the dance floor is freaking empty one thing that i did notice was the fact that the people that weren't big youtube celebrities or at least work on the inside of youtube they were like you know company ceo type guys like this place had hors d'oeuvres and freaking wine you know and there was these people and there's a certain way that really upper class people hold their wine glasses for some reason it was a lot of these people in there and they're just talking and it's really funny too because i've been to a lot of parties right i love to freaking go to parties i'm a party type of dude every once in a while i'll run into a party where no one's freaking dancing but you can feel in the air that people want to dance but 
no one is willing to go out there and start it off because the first person out there is getting judged by everyone which actually now that i think about it makes really good sense because the guy who runs the company that i'm signed to in youtube told me like look hey if you're gonna go to the maker party just be careful okay because there's a good amount of people in there who if you piss off or rub the wrong way they can make a call and the next day your youtube channel will be banned just gone desolate like your awesome little profile pic that you have on your account that will be replaced by a freaking desert because that's exactly what your channel would be deserted if you make a fool out of yourself at this party okay so 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 turn down we run into another group of people that i had met at vidcon but become sort of friends with one of the girls that we're gonna call her jessica me and this girl we start kind of laughing and joking like i said the dj is still playing really good music and me and this girl you know she wants to dance i want to dance so we start dancing together but again no one else is dancing around us we're just kind of dancing off to the side it's really funny to watch people who want to dance but aren't willing to especially when the beat drops you'll see them sway from side to side ever so slightly while looking around the room to see if anyone else has started the dancing so that they're allowed to join in now. Me and this girl, man, we, you know, we're just dancing back and forth or whatever, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to feel a lot of the social pressure to not dance. I'm like, you know what, man, screw it. I grab Jessica and we go to the middle of the dance floor. Even if no one else is gonna dance, we're, dude, we're gonna have a blast regardless of what anybody around us is doing. And we start dancing right now. I don't know how this crap happened. She doesn't really like show offy type dancing move, which offended me, because when you do that, you're basically saying, you do what you do better than I do what you do. And I didn't like that. So I did a dance back. Next thing you know, me and this girl are having a full on one on one dance battle in the middle of the freaking dance floor, right? Like, we're just, just stupid dancers, right? Like, I do one of my little 90s hip-hop moves, and then she'll do some one of her little moves. She's a really silly girl. She's really cool. Extremely unexpectedly, everybody just crowds to the middle of the freaking dance floor. Like, everyone who wasn't a company exec basically just crowds to the middle of the freaking dance floor making a circle around me and Jessica. We're still dance battling each other and being stupid and the crowd is going freaking nuts. They're like, oh, oh. After Jessica gets done with one of her more flashy hip hop displays, a different guy comes from out of the crowd. He starts quick walking at me, but he does not know that I know sea walking, man. I'm black because I killed them. I dropped chocolate on them with the sea walking. Crowd goes wild. Oh, oh, and out of nowhere, two dudes burst into the middle of the freaking circle. Oh! Oh! It escalated so quickly. The crowd just burst into freaking pandelirium. <laughs> When this crap happened, it was crazy. Not only did I not plan that, I did not see any of that crap happening, man. I noticed Swoozies on my left in a lot of Swoozies older videos. One thing a lot of people might not know, he break dances and he break dances well. So I'm like, yo, Swooz, jump in the middle, man, show us some of those moves, son. And he's being all modest. I got a bit thirsty. I went and got me a virgin pineapple juice down drink. So I came back. <laughs> I'm like lying to people in the party. I come back from getting something to drink and I notice no one's doing anything again. All the partying stopped and again, people were scared to jump in the middle and you know, do anything. So I could feel the party reverting back to its non-dancing, just standing around type atmosphere. But the DJ was still playing bomb music. She put on Chris Brown, these females aren't loyal. Anyone who knows me knows that's legitimately one of my favorite songs right now, man. I'm just like, man, you know what, dude, screw it. The last thing I want is for this party to go back to just being stagnant and nobody dances. So I jump in the middle and I start doing the wobble. Everyone floods the middle of the freaking circle and starts wobbling as well, dude. After that, the party did not stop for the rest of the night. So about a good 20 minutes later, man, I'm dancing, man. I'm having a great time and I look over I see like three girls 
dancing with Swoozy. And at it's with injury, they're like tagging each other in and out. Like, because <laughs> if you see Swoozy's videos, it's like, he's not supposed to know how to do that. The main, guy, the main guy who got us in, we're gonna call him G. He jumps in, two or three other freaking big CEOs jump in. These guys did not have a lick of dancing technique on them whatsoever, but what they lacked in dancing know-how, they made up for in complete and utter YOLO, man. One dude jumped in the middle and started cabbage patching while he was doing the MC Hammer dance. It made no sense, but it was freaking hilarious. Like, it made the party that much freaking better, man. I've been partying so hard, I was legitimately completely drenched in sweat, man. I'm just drenched. And the homie Ben, who was the CEO of the YouTube company that I'm signed to, his huge bosses are there. and. Those turned out to be the guys who were in the suits. Ben comes over and says, like, Blasphemous, dude. Because he calls me Blasphemous. He doesn't even call me Maurice. You know, that's my real name. He calls me Blasphemous. <laughs> Blasphemous. That was freaking crazy, bro. My boss, the guy who threw this party, came over and thanked me personally for bringing you because of all of this craziness, man. Like, he was over there chilling with them. And one by one, they all got up, took off their coats and was like, hey, I'm taking the rest of the night off, to the other CEOs, and just runs and dives headfirst into the freaking huge party. It just, it just goes nuts. And one by one, they all started doing that, dude, too. As to where is everyone in the entire place was getting down, man. One of the funniest parts of the night, man, is uh, Bugatti Bees, T. Pendel, Travi Bass, and a lot, a lot of the other uh, bigger black YouTubers were in there, too. And on one of my trips over to the bartender to get another virgin pineapple juice, I'm waiting in line with Bugatti Bees. I start talking to him. He's and he gives me some of the most ratchet and most insightful relationship advice I've ever had in my life. And he's like, and this is exactly what he says. He's like, "Hey, bro, hey, you are my homie, man. And I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, be 100 percent real. I'm freaking drunk. Okay, I I'm super drunk, bro. But." I would never smash the homie's girl, alright? I would never do that. And if my girl tried to have sex with you, I'd want you to smash because I would rather it be you than some random dude out there on the streets because she's going to do it anyway because I know you. I don't know those other guys, you know, alright? As long as you tell me, it's cool. Just tell me it happened, it's cool. Cause, 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 cause these hoes ain't loyal. I'm telling you, no loyalty, none. <laughs> so, I talked to this guy, man. I drank like five or six virgin pineapple juices. <laughs> you know, turn up. <laughs> DJ starts playing ratchet crunk music. Dancing the ratchet crunk music is just 100% fun. If you can dance, it's just hilariously fun. It's the black thing, okay? When ratchet crunk music comes on, you start surveying the dance floor for other people who might be good at this type of dancing, and you all start competing against one another to see who's the most ratchetest of the dance people. <laughs> They start playing that lean with it, rock with it music, right? And roll and swizzle. I don't know the words. So, <laughs> and swizzle. <laughs> I noticed Swoozy right on the other side of a couple of people, but still somewhat in front of me. Okay, I give him a look, and he looks back at me, and then it's on. That's, that's all it takes, literally. See, even though Swoozy is a good dancer, all right, I already know this. He doesn't know that I know dance as well. So I'm like, I've got him Trump. There's no way I can lose. Lean with it, rock with it is my shiz night. I start going heavy into the variations of the lean with it, rock with it. And Susie's keeping up. I'm like, wait, man, I'm like, bro, what, where are you really from? Like, you know, you've seen Swoozie's videos. Swoozie seems like one of the most whitewashed black dudes you ever meet in your life. Like, one of the most Caucasian black dudes. I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, I know he keeps saying I'm a thug. I'm not going back to jail, but has Swoozie really done prison time? Like, <laughs> party gets so crazy man it was supposed to end at 12 dude who was throwing the party he was like no we don't we don't stop runs up on a dj who's packing up her equipment and she's like no uh, -uh you keep the keep the party going we don't stop 
Then he grabs the mic. Party night is top! Woo! <laughs> Everyone cheers and the DJ unpacks the equipment she had packed up and starts playing awesome music again. But after it ended, man, you know, we all, we're walking out, man. You know, I'm talking to Swoozy. He's telling me um stories and whatnot. And I share with him some of my crazy relationship stories. Tabuskis walks up to him. He's like, bro, you know, I saw you dancing, bro. Like, dude, you're really good, man. Who are you? Because, you know, because I'm, this is my first freaking VidCon. You know, my name's Marie. I'm Blasphemous HD, but I know who you are, though. You know, freaking the bus gets like, yeah, bro, yeah, you know. Dude, outside was an entire sea of people who either were trying to get in and couldn't get in, or were like fans of all the huge YouTubers that were now walking out. And, um, you know, Swoozy's with one of the girls that was at the party, and they're just talking and walking, you know, just laughing, joking. We end up going, sitting down, kicking it for like an hour and a half. You know, Swoozy's just giving me advice on you know my channel and then the girl that we're sitting with would like hug on Swoozy and start cuddling with them like halfway through the conversation he didn't even stop the conversation he's just he's just used to it it happens <laughs> but we had a really good time man you know we just laugh we joke dude is super down to earth man if there's one thing that I really 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 learned from VidCon which one of the best lessons ever, man, is that, you know, even, even though these guys are really popular and a lot of them are, you know, really big celebrities and YouTube celebrities and they're just regular people who like to have fun. Like, it's really funny because a lot of the really, really, really big YouTubers I met, some of the most down-to-earth people I've ever met in my life. The dude who did the Wrecking Ball video, Steve, he's super down-to-earth. Paint, super down-to-earth. Mystery Guitar Man, super down-to-earth. I had a blast at VidCon, man. I made a VidCon compilation music video, you know, from all the footage I got from VidCon, which shows a good amount of the parts from this story in there, like the dancing, all that other stuff. I'm going to link that at the end of the video. Also, I'm also going to link my vlogging channel if you want to see all the raw clips, a lot of the clips that did not make it into the, uh, into the YouTube music video, like... The world's most confused racist. It's just, just all bad. I have that all up on my vlogging channel and I'm gonna be putting that stuff up, putting up more and more clips, you know? So make sure to go and check that out. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, like, comment down below if you have any questions on any other stuff that happened to me. I always talk to everybody in the comment section. You guys already know that. We are part of this mug. Twisms.